I'm Anna Barnett. I'm a professor in psychology here at Oxford Brookes University. My area of research focuses on the development of movement skills. Movement is so much part of our everyday life that we sometimes forget the skills that underlie it. Walk along the street or ride a bike, when you fasten a button or tie a shoelace, most children develop these skills quite easily and naturally, but there are some people who do have difficulties in this area. And we're particularly interested in one group, a condition called Developmental Coordination Disorder, or DCD. It's a significant impairment in the development of motor and coordination skills. Importantly, it's not explained by a sensory, intellectual, physical or neurological impairment. We don't really understand the cause of the condition, but the motor difficulties certainly have a severe impact on the person's everyday life. Until we can understand in detail the nature of the movement difficulties, it's very difficult for us to work out how best to um, improve motor coordination. So we have some techniques that allow us to look at skills like handwriting, for example. We use a special writing tablet with specialised software that allows us to look at the process of handwriting. So, for example, we've done studies on children with dyslexia. We've also done studies on children with DCD. Children with dyslexia, we've found that their writing difficulties are characterised by pauses around misspellings. However, with children with DCD, we see um, pauses within the words because the children do not have a motor plan for the word and it's not particularly related to misspellings. And this is important because it tells us about the type of support that these children need. And this might be quite different, for example, for a child with dyslexia to a child with DCD. So we're at the Oxford Gate Laboratory and we're looking at walking and navigation in people with and without coordination difficulties. And by using this special laboratory we can look very carefully at these skills and try and work out what's going on. We could uh, look at how their shoulder move, how their shoulder turning when they get through very narrow apertures. And uh, we also look at how they react in an unpredictable environment. As you can see, we have 16 cameras. We got the motion capture system here. We put special markers on the parts of the body that we're interested in and little reflective markers are picked up by infrared cameras over 100 times a second and that allows us to track the movements in a lot of detail. Just finished data collection with our adults. Adults with coordination difficulties produce much less consistent movement patterns which might explain some of the problems that they have in everyday life. Another strand of our work is concerned with development of assessment tools. So we've developed a test called the Movement ABC. It can be used to help identify children with DCD. So for example, it can tell you whether they mainly have difficulty in the way they use their hands, or whether they have balance skills. And so it gives the therapist a profile of performance and hopefully will help people then to plan um, how best to support them in school and at home. So this test is now actually used worldwide and it's come to be known as the gold standard for assessment in the field of developmental coordination disorder.